Today, we celebrate the death anniversary of our dear venerable Mother Fernanda Riva, who was born in Monza, Italy on 17 April 1920. She entered the missionary novitiate of Imarkate on 19th March 1939 and in October left for India. She completed her novitiate and studies in Belgaum. Her field of apostolic ministry was the school in Mahim and the college for women in Alipi. She attained holiness through suffering that brought her to be identified with Christ crucified. Today, as we honor her, let us thank God for the blessing of her to the Kanoshan Institute and to the Church and for also the many blessings that we receive from God our Father at every moment of our lives. Fernanda was a paragon of virtues. There was nothing extraordinary in what she did. At some time or the other, all of us has done similar acts of charity. What was special about Fernanda was that she did them consistently, each day and always hiddenly and that she was always calm, serene, smiling and had that special gift of caring within her 
the presence of God. Let us now have a close look at the virtues that Fernanda practiced and try to emulate them. Mother Fernanda Riva, the selfless student. From June 1942 to 1950, Fernanda's main work in obedience to her superiors was to study. June 1942 was the year of her matriculation. When Mother Fernanda was not in the class, she would help in the school office, help in carrying water to be filled in big earthen jars in the refectory brought by the military van. She would be the first one to run down to do this work. Let us ask ourselves, how willingly and joyfully do I do the task entrusted to me? On her way back to school, she would glance at the scullery that is the washing place to see if anything was needed to be cleared. She would keep her books down and clean up, keep everything in order to help the sister in charge of the storeroom. Do I like Fernanda? Keep my eyes open to see what needs to be done. The sister students in those days studied with a low voltage bulb surrounded by a black cloth as it was war time and they were permitted to study up up to 10 pm by candlelight. Do I willingly put up with the daily inconveniences of life? The first reference that Fernanda makes to her studies in her notebook is on Recollection Day, March 1943. See what Jesus has done for you. And what are you doing for him? Will you continue to live just so-so? Don't give the excuse that study requires all your time, attention and activity, because it is not so. It must not be so. Study must in no way hinder your spiritual growth and helping others. Let us ask ourselves, do I selflessly give my time and talents for others? Or do I strive only for personal success? In June 1943, Mother Fernanda successfully completed the matriculation and was enrolled in the first year arts class of Lingraj College, Belgaum. She continued to help in the school office and would study at night. Do I lend a helping hand to my mother in the household chores? Fernanda's needs as a student were very few. She studied with the bare necessary text, books and all this for love of holy poverty. She did not even buy a textbook but used only what was found in the school library. For her notes, she would use loose papers or unfinished exercise books found in the school premises. Do I demand unnecessary needs to be fulfilled by my parents? As a student, she always reached out to sisters 
who needed her help or were in need of help even though she had to prepare herself for the exams for the next day she would be there till late evening completing all jobs she would teach in school attend to the boarders in the afternoon and reach in time to go to college for a lectures in spite of all this she would come out with flying colors she obtained a scholarship in 1945 which she never mentioned to anyone but the boarders came to know of it through the headmistress do i possess a heart that throbs to reach out to those in need on a recollection day in december 1943 fernanda pours out her heart to jesus and tells the lord her struggle to attain perfection to make the effort to climb the ladder of becoming a saint she feels discouraged but at the same time she hears the lord asking her to continue to make the effort and not to see the result strive daily but do not be anxious do i make some time at least to spend in prayer fernanda was much respected and loved by all her fellow students they all listened to her and did things willingly for her fernanda would make everyone happy during recreation with her jokes she was a good play writer and would organize skits and items of entertainment during feast days she encouraged everyone especially the timid ones to participate in the items fernanda throws herself into the open arms of jesus crucified and promises to do better she prays to mary mother of sorrows and our blessed foundress saint magdalene of canossa to help to keep the rules integrally perseveringly and joyfully fernanda as a student was very faithful in making her yearly days of prayer recollection days and so on these were days of deep intimacy spent with her lord let us now spend a few moments asking god to help us to live our daily lives with joy love and faith today mother fernanda tells us dear children walk the spiritual path say little love much give all judge no person aspire to all that is pure and good and keep on loving the lord with all your heart let us now pause for a few moments and pick out any four qualities from the life of mother fernanda that you want to practice in your life Having decided 
to emulate the qualities of Sister Fernanda in our lives. Let us pray and decide to light the lives of others. Let us pray through our intercession for the troubled world, world that is going through a lot of suffering because of the pandemic. Let us also pray for our school, the management, staff and all the students that following the example of the Venerable Fernanda Riva, we may cultivate good values in our lives and live them in our day-to-day -day life. May we also always strive to help the poor, the needy and share every bit of our time and talent with those who need it. Placing all our prayers at the feet of the Lord, let us together say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Let us all pray this prayer together. O most holy and ineffable Trinity, we thank you for the marvels in the heart of your servant, the Venerable Mother Fernanda Riva, who with her life has joyfully sung your infinite glory. Grant us, through our intercession, the graces that we implore with great hope. Amen. Sister Fernanda Riva, pray for us. O Monsa's humble flower, God chose you for His own and filled you with His power to make His secrets known. Mother Fernanda, India beckoned you, and for India you lived and died, unbelievable but a dream come true. Mother Fernanda, India beckoned you, and for India you lived and died, we lived with a saint by our side. Your life was simple and plain, no unusual or great sign. But sanctity in you reigned, displaying a practical mind. Mother Fernanda, India beckoned you, and for India you lived and died. Unbelievable, but a dream come true. Mother Fernanda, India beckoned you. And for India you lived and died. We lived with a saint by our side. With charity your only goal, humility your lifestyle. Care and concern for every soul And a radiating smile Mother Fernanda India beckoned you And for India you lived and died Unbelievable but a dream come true Mother Fernanda India beckoned you and for India you lived and died We lived with a saint by our side Teach us Fernanda's simple ways You learn from Jesus' heart To seek His will all our days 
and to him surrender our hearts. Mother Fernanda, India beckoned you, and for India you lived and died. Unbelievable, but a dream come true. Mother Fernanda, India beckoned you, and for India you lived and died. We lived with a saint by our side.